Today we're exploring how by stack inhibitors, specifically LBH 589 and SAHA, impact breast cancer cell invasiveness and metastasis through key cellular, key cellular and molecular changes. These findings reveal important pathways that could be exploited for therapeutic interventions. In panel A, researchers point out IC50 values of H-stack inhibitors LBH 589 and SAHA across breast cancer cell lines grouped by receptor subtypes R+, HER+, and TNBC. Notice that TNBC cells represented in red show higher IC50 values compared to R+, and HER+, cells. This indicates that TNBC cells are more resistant to these inhibitors. In panel B, researchers used a transwell migration assay to measure how HDAC inhibitors impact cell motility. After treatment with LBH 589 or SAHA, they observed a significant increase in cell migration compared to control group. These results suggest that these inhibitors enhance breast cancer cell migration, which is a key step in metastasis. Panel C shows how breast cancer cells change shape after treatment with increasing concentration, concentrations of HDAC inhibitors. Cells develop a more mesenchymal like morphology, which is a characteristic of invasive cancer cells. This transformation highlights the role of these inhibitors in promoting traits associated with metastasis. Finally, panel D presents immunofluorescent staining for focal adhesions with vinculin, actin cytoskeleton with f actin, and nuclei with TAPI. Treated cells display an increase in focal adhesion sites and divide body formation, which are critical for invasive behavior. These features further support the idea of that HDAC inhibitors enhance cell motility and evasion. In summary, this data reveals that HDAC inhibitors like LBH 589 and SAHA increase breast cancer cell migration, mesenchymal morphology, divide body formation, and metastatic potential. These findings raise important questions about the unintended consequences of these inhibitors in cancer therapy. This slide highlights how treatment with HDAC inhibitor and LBH589 impacts various cancer metastases using in vivo mouse models and lung tissue analysis. We will focus on three key panels, bioluminescence imaging, lung histology, and immunohistochemistry. Panel E shows bioluminescence imaging of nude mice injected with breast cancer cells and treated with either a vehicle control or LBH589. In the images, you can see a dramatic increase in luminescence in the LBH589 treated mice, indicated enhanced metastatic progression. The accompanying graph quantifies photon flux over 19 days, with LBH589 treated mice displaying significantly higher levels compared to the control group. Panel F provides h and &E stained lung tissue sections from the same mice. LBH589 treated mice have a notable increase in metastatic lung nodules, nodules as indicated by the arrows in the images and the quantification on the right. This histological evidence supports the conclusion that LBH589 promotes metastatic spread to the lungs. Panel G focuses on immunohistochemistry staining for acetylated histone A3K9, a marker of transcriptional activation. In LPH589 treated mice, there is an increased acetylated H3K9 staining in lung tissue, as highlighted by the arrows. This is quantified in the bar graph, showing significantly higher acetylated H3K9 IHC scores compared to vehicle treated mice. This suggests that LPH589 may be promoting gene expression changes associated with metastasis. Together, these results demonstrate that the LPH 589 enhances metastatic progression in breast cancer by increasing metastatic lung nodules and transcriptionally active chromatin, as shown by, by acetylated H3K9 staining. This highlights the potential of the potential risk of HDAC inhibitors in promoting cancer metastasis. In this slide, we will explore how LBH 589 and SAHA regulate NET9 expression in breast cancer cells. NET9, a protein linked to cell migration and metastasis, is shown to be upregulated both in vitro and in vivo. Understanding the molecular effects of these inhibitors can help us uncover their roles in cancer metastasis and potential therapeutic implications. Panel A shows RNA sequencing analysis of MCF7 cells treated with LBH589. 1,299 genes were significantly upregulated and 292 genes were downregulated. In panel B, gene ontology analysis revealed that significantly altered genes are enriched in pathways related to cytoskeleton organization, cell junction formation, and biological adhesion key processes involved in, in cancer metastasis. Panel C identifies seven genes shared among pathways for cytoskeleton, cytoskeleton organization, cell junction formation, and biological adhesion. These genes are directly linked to cell migration. Panel D presents QRT-PCR results showing significant upregulation of NET9 mRNA in MCM7, T47D, and MDA-MB231 cells after treatment with LBH589 and SAHA. The expression increases in a dose-dependent manner with results statistically validated. 
In panel E, Western blot analysis confirms increased night 9 protein levels of, across multiple breast cancer cell lines treated with LBH589 and SAHA. Histone acetylation indicated by increased acetylated H3K9 validates HDAC inhibitor activity. Panel F shows a time-dependent a time-dependent upregulation of NET9 protein levels, demonstrating sustained activation following HVAC inhibitor treatment in MCF7, T47D, and MDA MB231 cells. Finally, panel B, panel G presents immunohistochemistry analysis of lung metastatic noodles in mice treated with LBH 589. The results show increased NET9 expression in treated mice as evidenced by staining and quantified IHC scores. This suggests a role for NET9 in promoting metastasis. HDAC inhibitors such as LBH589 and SAHA significantly upregulate NET9 expression and protein associated with cytoskeleton organization and cell migration. These changes promote metastatic traits in breast cancer cells and are validated in vivo where NET9 expression is higher in metastatic lung noodles. This slide investigates the role of NET9 and how its, its expression and activity are influenced by LBH 589 and SAHA with a focus on triple negative breast cancer, TNBC. In panel A, the impact of LBH 589 and SAHA on cell migration is assessed using a transvalent migration assay in MDA MB231 cells, TNBC model. Cells treated with HDAC inhibitors showed significantly increased migration compared to controls. However, this effect is strongly reduced when NET9 is knocked down. The quantification on the right confirms the statistical significance of these observations, demonstrating that NET9 that net plays a critical role in HDAC inhibitor mediated migration enhancement. Panel B uses immunofluorescence to examine cytoskeletal changes in MCF7 cells treated with LBH 589. Vinculin marks focal adhesion, while affecting shows cytoskeletal structures. In control cells, we see limiting focal adhesion and active remodeling. However, cells treated with LBH 589 show increased vinculin and actin colocalization, indicative of enhanced cytoskeletal dynamics and divided body deformation. In NET9 knockdown cells, these changes are substantially reduced, further validating the role of NET9 in promoting invasive cell behavior. In panel C, researchers confirmed the molecular basis for this observation through Western blood analysis. HDAC inhibitors, LBH 589 and SAHA, significantly increased NET9 protein levels, protein levels and uh, histone acetylation, acetylated H3K9 in MDA, MB231, and MCF7 cells. In contrast, cells with NET9 knockdown shown diminished NET9 expression and attenuated the effects of HDAC inhibitors, supporting the hypothesis that NET9 is a critical mediator of HDAC induced metastatic phenotypes. These results establish that HDAC inhibitors enhance breast cancer cell migration and divide up all the formation through NET9 upregulation and increase cytoskeletal dynamics. Knocking down NET9 significantly attenuates these effects, highlighting its central role in HDAC inhibitor mediated evasiveness. This slide highlights the, the role of NET9 in breast cancer metastasis, focusing on how its knockdown influences tumor progression and lung metastasis in vivo. Understanding the knockdown, the downstream effects of NET9 on metastasis is critical for developing potential therapeutic strategies in aggressive cancer like triple negative breast cancer. Panel D shows luciferase-based bioluminescence bio imaging of mice with NET9 knockdown compared to vehicle controls. As shown in the graph, the photon flux in NET9 knockdown mice treated with, with LBH 889 is significantly reduced, indicating a decreased metastatic burden. This demonstrates that NET9 plays a crucial role in driving metastasis as its knockdown reduces metastatic tumor progression. In panel E, H&A staining reveals the extent of lung metastasis in NET9 knockdown mice compared to controls. Arrow indicate metastatic noodles, which are visible fewer in NET9 knockdown group. Quantification confirms this finding with significantly fewer lung noodles in NET9 knockdown mice, emphasizing NET9's role in metastasis. Panel F focuses on histone acetylation, acetylated H3K9, a marker of active chromatin and gene transcription. Staining intensity is significantly higher in NET9 knockdown mice treated with the LBH589, as indicated by the arrows and quantified in the bar graph. This suggests that despite the reduced metastasis, LBH 589 maintained its role in histone acetylation, potentially altering gene expression profiles. Panel G shows N shows NET9 staining in lung tissues. In NET9 knockdown mice, NET9 expression is significantly, significantly reduced, as seen in the staining intensity and the quantified IJC score. This supports the knockdown efficiency and confirms that the observed effects are due to reduced NET9 expression. 
MET9 is critical for breast cancer metastasis and is knocked out significantly reduce lung cancer burden in vivo. Targeting MET9 could be a promising strategy to counteract metastatic progression in aggressive breast cancers. Despite reduced metastasis, LBH589 increases histonic acetylation, highlighting its dual role in gene regulation and cancer progression. This slide investigates the role of phosphorylated FAG, bfag 397Y, as a potential downstream effector of NET9 regulated by HVAC inhibitors in breast cancer cells. Understanding how FAG phosphorylation is linked to NET9 and HVAC inhibitors can reveal mechanisms driving breast cancer metastasis and, and potential therapeutic targets. Panel A shows the relationship between NET9 expression and PFAX 397Y levels. The, uf, the upper panel shows that knock, knockdown of NET9 leads to decreased FAG phosphorylation levels, highlighting the direct the regulatory link. The lower panel points out that overexpression of NET9 results in elevated FAG phosphorylation levels, further confirming that NET9 enhances FAG phosphorylation. This establishes NET9 as a critical re regulator of FAG activity. Panel B demonstrates that treatment with HVAC inhibitors LBH 589 and SAHA increases FAG phosphorylation levels over time. This increase correlates with elevated NED9 expression and histone acetylation, suggesting a pathway where HVAC inhibitors regulate FAG phosphorylation through NED9. In panel C, IHC staining of lung metastasis from mice treated with LBH 589 reveals increased FAG phosphorylation expression compared to vehicle controls. The quantification confirms the statistical significance of this increase, supporting the role of HVAC inhibitors in upregulated FAC activity in vivo. Panel D compares FAC phosphorylation levels in lung metastasis from NET9 knockdown mice and controls. Knockdown of NET9 significantly reduces FAC phosphorylation expression, as shown in the IHC staining and quantified scores. This further supports the conclusion of NET9 that NET9 is essential for FAC phosphorylation. Panel E investigates whether HVAC inhibitors can induce FAC phosphorylation in the absence of NET9. HVAC inhibitors fail to increase FAC phosphorylation levels in NET9 knockdown cells. This confirms that NET9 is required for HVAC inhibitor mediated FAC phosphorylation. In conclusion, NET9 directly regulates FAC phosphorylation as shown in both overexpression and knockdown models. HVAC inhibitors promote FAC phosphorylation levels in a NET9 dependent manner. Targeting the NET9 FAC pathway could be a potential strategy to counteract HVAC inhibitor driven metastasis in breast cancer. This slide explores the role of FAC inhibitor, the FAC in reversing the prometastatic effects of HVAC inhibitors such as LBH589 and SAHA in breast cancer. It highlights in vitro and vivo findings, demonstrating that the therapeutic potential of combination treatments. How can FAC inhibition mitigate the metastatic effects of driven by HVAC inhibitors? Panel F shows the migration assay in MDAMB231 cells. Treatment with HVAC inhibitors LBH589 and SAHA significantly increases cell migration, as seen in the first two rows. However, co treatment with the FAC inhibitor Defactinib markedly reduces this migration, as evidenced by the bottom row and quantified in the bar graph. This suggests that FAC inhibition can effectively counteract HVAC inhibitor induced invasiveness. In panel G, Western blot analysis confirms that the fact in it blocks FAC phosphorylation even in the presence of HVAC inhibitors. This inhibition also correlates with reduced histone acetylation, suggesting, suggesting that FAC activity is tightly linked to the effects of HVAC inhibitors. Panel H presents the in vivo imaging of lung metastasis in mice treated with LBH 589, the fact in it, or their combination. LBH 589 alone significantly increases metastatic tumor burden as shown by the photon flux in the second image. In contrast, the combination of LBH589 and the fact in it dramatically reduces metastasis, outperforming either treatment alone as quantified in the graph. This indicates a synergistic effect when combining HVAC and FAC inhibitors. Panel I shows H and T stained lung tissue sanctions. LBH89 treated mice exhibit an increased number of metastatic noodles. The fact in it treatment reduces these noodles, and the combination therapy achieves the most significant reduction and so in the quantification graph. In conclusion, NET9 regulates FAC phosphorylation, a pathway activated by HDAC inhibitors. The fact in it effectively blocks HDAC inhibitor mediated FAC, FAC phosphorylation, reducing cell migration, invasion, and metastasis. The combination of HDAC inhibitors and FAC inhibitors offers a promising strategy for mitigating metastatic burden in breast cancer.